Hello everyone and welcome back to our Rise of Kingdom video. This is your boy Legend Ronnie and today we have a sneak peek of the update, the iconic update that is going to hit in just a couple of days. Wednesday after the reset, they posted on the Rise of Kingdom official YouTube page, they posted a small video where they show a couple of things regarding the update. So I just want to go to a couple of uh, them and I want to explain them and give you some ease of mind about some of the events that we probably thought that they are gone forever and apparently they are not gone. And another cool thing that we have in this video is the animation, the skill animation of the commanders, which to be honest, it is pretty spectacular. So the first thing that I want to show you is going to be the next special event that we are going to have the bunny bonanza or about the Easter event. It would be easier to put it like that, which is our 35 sculpture event where you spend 7,000 gems. Now, obviously, if you spend a little bit more, you get the right side as well. If you spend the $10 and you get some emojis and some virus, other stuff that will probably help you out. Cool thing about this is that they never planned to remove the 35 sculpture event, which is exactly what many of us thought. Now, the previous event that they introduced about the wheel i'm gonna make sure to post a card on the top if you don't know which one i'm talking about that event is just going to enter a rotation same as we had this 35 sculpture event so from now on we are to expect it and see this event probably a little less often or my second theory is that they plan to introduce events more often because now i'm not sure if you'll notice but even more than gem it is more often which i'm guessing that this special event will be introduced a little bit more often. So in theory, this 35 sculpture event should be on the same time frame as we used to have it like every four months or so. I'm honestly pretty happy that they are planning to introduce events more often because even if you spend or you don't spend, there's always a lot of good things to get from those events. They're showing the new skin that will be introduced, but to be honest, we have so many epic skins that I'm not sure this makes any difference. I, <laughs> I don't know how many Archer health skins I have. I just don't want to count them. They definitely need to do something about the epic skins because I think they're starting to pile up to be too many into the game. I hope they will add at some point something in the future regarding it. And this is official now. The two new commanders, Scipio Africanus and Flavius. Uh, they are showing them in the Rise of Kingdom official update video. Which means that they're going to be as bad as as the videos that we already done about it. I'm going to make sure to post a card on the top if you want to hear more about Scipio and Flavius. I highly recommend Scipio to work on him for field fighting. He'll be a very exceptional commander and support commander. I would say that a must have commanders for murder balls. His primary skill, 2000 direct damage factor and reducing enemy health for three seconds and it hits up to three targets. That's going to be pretty good. Then we have his second skill. We have his third skill. We have his four skill and then we have his expertise which again increase skill damage dealt by 10 percent is pretty good and now to see his animation which probably is uh, one of the most uh, expected thing i really like his animation though his animation is dope finally something they've done really good so let me just uh, sidetrack a little bit from this the first animation that i liked in the game was hannibal park when the game was introduced there wasn't too many legendaries so let's just not go there. Hannibal Barca had the best animation. The elephant was really amazing. Then later on, the next best animation that I enjoyed a lot was Attila. Attila's animation was super cool. After Attila, I'm not sure. I think it was YSS. I think YSS was the, the next animation after Attila. And now that we had all those commanders, I like... Um, Scipio and Flavius. Both animations are really good. And boom. Three big shields. Like I said, I really, really like uh, his animation. That's pretty fantastic. And now we have Flavius. And this is his primary skill from Flavius. So it's definitely true. 2300 damage factor. And then when the target is reduced, there's going to be additional damage, which... To be honest, that's going to be pretty banging. And since he has the skill talent tree, you can put lot and power with him. So when I've done he, when I've done the first video about the leaks, I didn't mention this. 
So putting Zenobia as a second and having the skill talent primary is not just that the skill rotation will be really fast, but Zenobia with her four skill, she has additional damage as well, which means it is going to be a win-win situation to put Flavius as a first. So Flavius Zenobia, I believe that is going to be a thing because of that, of the latent power and how fast you, you generate rage with skills. I think infantry is going to be badass again in Garrison. Not that Zenobia YSS is not right now. It's still holding pretty strong regarding all these new commanders that, that came out. But Flavius and Zenobia is going to be the next thing. His beautiful stats that he gives while in Garrison. A second skill and now is the third skill with the counterattack damage. And the stacks that he does on the rally so they can take more damage because why not? The probability, damage bonus, silence, man, so many juicy stuff. And decrease all damage taken by 10% above all else. So really badass commander. And now let's see his animation. Because like I said, his animation is really amazing. He's from the Mightiest Governor. Look at that. Shields and... Pff, let me just play that again. Shields, spears. Super cool. And you see the additional damage. You see the initial damage and then you see the additional damage that he does because the target it is under 50%. The next thing that may, they mentioned about is the iconic update. And when I've done the video regarding like how impactful the iconic update or this iconic or these crystals, the iconic crystal will have on the game. I thought that it is percentages exactly like the stats and it is not. Uh, it is the base attributes of your troops. So, for example, let's say um, the regular infantry T5, they have 212 health. Now, they show on the weapon over here, but if you go on the pants, on the boots, or on accessories, you will get health. And it's just going to be plus 3 if you are in Season of Conquest, and if the weapon is special talented, it's going to be plus 4. So... Even that, when I've done that video, it's not percentage. When you think about it, two accessories, the pants and the boots together, it's still going to be plus 16 on the base health. So, for example, Elite Throwing Axemen, which is the ones I um, kind of try to highlight a little bit in that video, they have 227 health, and then you add plus 16, that's 243 base health. I think it's going to be the highest base health on a unit, on a T5 unit that we have in the game right now. And then you have to think about it that France also has 3% health, which is uh, pretty unique. Like if you have maximum of everything into the game, uh, France still has that 3%, which is extra. I think that it's still going to be a lot. It's still going to be, it's still going to make a difference when someone has a full special talented gear and it, it has iconic crystals on all of it it's still going to be pretty impactful i'm also going to be very curious about archers because archers don't really have a lot of equipment with health but the attributes is not depending on the stats that you have on the equipment so pants boots and accessories they all get health so considering that archers are not having a lot of health gear so there's not a lot of health boost that you can do on Archer. Now Archer's plus 16 health. I think they might have a little bit of comeback. And they need to have a little bit of comeback. Because Flavius is going to be a badass. And we definitely need something to take him down. Another good thing I like that they are showing. Is the fact that there is no bundle. So it's only from the Lost Canyon where you can get one. So every time you're going to enter into KVK. Hopefully don't go in KVK's will have this activated after the update so people can start um, collecting those crystals but there's also going to be from this artisan forge event so on the artisan forge event you are able to do a daily quest which gives you some of these hammers that you can use them in the artisan forge season of conquest event well i suppose this because they are in the season of conquest or right, the server that they are testing on from the event it shows that there is two of them or at least the quantity remaining there is um, two iconic crystal so if you get two from the event and then you get one from the kvk that is three for a full set you need eight 
So I believe that this event will be periodically introduced. And from what I, I'm seeing over here, it seems that it's going to be available for everyone. So far, so good. I'm pretty liking this. And it seems that there is a couple more rewards uh, down the line. So you're able to get a couple of materials as well. Not just the, the crystals, keys, and probably some speed ups and etc. Right, so let me know what you think in the comment section below. What do you think about this uh, update, the, this highlight of the update? Definitely going to talk more when it's going to be released in the game. Definitely going to talk more about the commanders in particular. But for now, I say that they've done it pretty well, even with the 7000 gem event. It's not gone, it's there. They're just, you know, trying to add a mix over there to a couple more events so they don't just introduce the same thing over and over and over. And I also think they've done a great thing with this iconic to try to diversify a little bit the difference between players. Uh, like someone is focusing on Cavs, someone is focusing on Archers. And like I said, in the future, this will have an impact because there will be so many legendaries. Uh, infantry archers and and calves at some point into the game that you can choose a speciality until next time this is your boy signing off peace out here and take care see you on the next one and stay safe out there my friends